And so we're joined to, to you by Nick Quayle, Deputy Head at Vale Leaving Academy. So a, a busy day today, Nick? Yeah, busy but hugely enjoyable at the same time. I have uh, a number of youngsters who have uh, been very excited for the last few days once I've heard that Walter and Myrtle were joining us. And of course there's always a wee bit of nervousness on my behalf that everything goes off very well, but it has. And I think it's fairly safe to say that everyone's had a, a nice day and Walter and Myrtle have been very um, good in giving up so much of their time to help uh, launch our new School of Football year. So we're now joined by Tony Gervais, Head of Youth Football at Dumbarton Football Club. So, a busy day today, Tony? Oh, it's been excellent. It's been a great exercise in relation to raising awareness of the club connection into the community through the School of Football here at the Vale of Leaving. And, you know, and the benefit of that was managing to get Walter and Murdo along to it, being ex-players and ex-player manager of the team. So it's been a great, exciting day for the club to raise the credibility of the programme, awareness of the programme, to let them know that these ongoing opportunities are slowly building and developing within Western Battleship. So now you're joined by Murdo McLeod. An exciting day today here, Murdo. Yeah, it's been a fantastic day and it's uh, for a good occasion as well. It's, I think it's so important we're going to get uh, football players playing more football. And I think it's important at this age that they're still studying well at school, but make sure that they're doing enough if they want to become a football player. Because it, you could, just can't turn up to a football player one day and think it's, it's, it's easy. You've got to work hard and I think now school are allowing them more hours to go and, go and get training and work harder in the, their fitness and their overall game knowledge. So I think it's very important at this age that they're all getting an opportunity and well done to the school for going down that line. Yeah, I've seen these kind of projects rolled out kind of across Europe, so it's good to see Scotland now. Uh, getting on board and uh, promoting this and pushing it as much as yeah, they can? Well, I think uh, all the old football players always spoke about how many hours they played football all day, every day, and I think it's, we've lost that, and now we're going back that way, so I think it's, it'll be beneficial to the Scottish game in the future that we have so many kids playing more football. And you impressed? You saw some of the boys, playing, the boys and girls playing there? You impressed with yourself? Right? Yes, it's, I always think you know, you're looking at the boys, but the girls now, they've, they've taken up the game over the last few years, and a lot of them, their, their skills, so good and their, their technique so good as well so they, they're, they're playing alongside the boys and they're, they're, every bit is good but the, the boys now I think there's a, one or two of them in the pitch today that you know, could play football so that's the important thing. So we're now joined here at Vale of Leaving Academy by Walter Smith. So an exciting day today here Walter? Yes it's been a nice day. Um, I think uh, you know when you're asked to come down and and help out uh, anything that involves youth football, um, you're always glad to do so. And when you see the amount of work that people are putting in to bring people into to play football, especially as part of their education, and uh, I think it's a great thing and they're doing some great work here. And it's an exciting project going forward with so many people involved. Yes, I don't think there's any doubt that if the, the, the project is catching on, it's one that's spreading to schools over Scotland, I'm sure it will be very successful considering the popularity of football overall. Uh, were you impressed with some of the talent you saw out there? Yes, of course. I mean, uh, you know, the, the whole school seems to be behind the project. Um, I think it's going to be a big success for them, and, uh, and hopefully it will continue to grow and grow in, in, in future years.